My name is Joshua Fricks. I'm number 83 for the Liberty Flames, and I've been here for five years. Towards the end of my last junior year, uh, I just felt God calling me here. I just felt that was best for me, and my faith growing going forward through college can be a, a difficult time for a lot of people, so uh, I just chose Liberty as uh, the best route for that. My name is Colin Baird, and I'm number five. Hockey got really competitive for me in high school. I played for Mounds View High School back in Minnesota for four years. And somewhere along that journey, I found junior hockey, where I ended up playing in Des Moines for the Buccaneers for a year, and then in the Minnesota Wilderness in Cloquet, Minnesota. I had an option to play a third year of junior, but got in touch with Kirk uh, along the way and got out here for a visit, fell in love with Liberty and had the opportunity to come early and I took it. I couldn't, couldn't miss out on coming here. Hi, I'm Tom Nagel, number 20. My journey started when uh, I was two years old and then once high school was over, I went and played two years of junior hockey for the Granite City Lumberjacks located in central Minnesota. Uh, from there, I went and played one year of Division Three hockey at Bethel University and then transferred here for my final three years of college hockey to Liberty. My best friend, Colin Baird, brought me here. Cedric Glacier, number 88. It's uh, 20, 23 brothers that are gonna hold you accountable for anything and everything you do. Uh, looking back now, I can definitely see that I've grown tremendously as a person since I started as a, as a little freshman. My name is Luke Hyman, I'm number two. The discipline and the standard that we're held to um, every day at the rink and in the gym and just the academic uh, rigor here is um, definitely a benefit and has prepared me a lot. Some of your favorite memories come from everyday practice. My favorite memory here though was when we went into Las Vegas and we swept UNLV who was at the time number one in the country. It's tough to beat all the home crowds you get here though when you got thousands of fans coming to watch you. I got to be a part of club sports, spiritual leadership groups, and, uh, and then obviously as captain of the team, got to be part of some, some leadership opportunities and, and just learning and growing and, and becoming who God meant me to be has just been uh, the biggest blessing about being here and, and I'm so grateful for it. I highly recommend coming to Liberty. We can compete with some of the best D3 teams out there. And it's shown we've even played some NCAA Division I teams over the years and we compete with them come see the facilities, meet everyone, because that was really the difference maker, was, uh, was just being here, seeing how much they invest into the program, how professional the program is, and uh, uh, I've got a lot of buddies that are NCAA Division I back home, and uh, they, like, even some of them don't get the stuff that we have, so I just think we're truly privileged with all that, and you'll never have people that believe in you and invest more in you than here at Liberty. If God's calling you here, if you feel like it's a good direction, I, I would do it because, I mean, as most people realize, hockey isn't uh, going to be here for your whole life. Uh, you'll be able to really grow into to a person you'll be happy with once you leave here. I just want to thank all the staff, especially the guys that are the unsung heroes, um, like our athletic training staff, um, our media staff, and uh, strength conditioning, and if I'm forgetting any, any anybody who doesn't get mentioned as much as they should be because we get a lot of input from a lot of different people that we wouldn't be able to be where we are without them. I mean, I owe uh, Kirk a huge thank you for bringing me in and for believing in me and for uh, asking me to be a leader of this team. Uh, obviously my family for supporting me. I'm especially gonna miss the midnight games because when you're on campus the day of a midnight game, it's just, you can feel the buzz around it. A lot of people are wearing hockey jerseys and it's just such a cool thing to be a part of and it's all thanks to you guys. All the teammates through the past five years that come and gone and the ones that are still here just keep leaving the same legacy that we started and uh, special thanks to Josh Smith and Angie for uh, just what they did for me on the ice. Just a huge thank you to all the fans for coming out and supporting us over the last four years. Uh, it's a huge honor to play here and it comes with a lot of, uh, a lot of pride and so thank you guys.